The motorcycle, which was made as a tribute to the great Barry Sheen by individuals from his close circle. Built entirely by hand from exclusive components to become the most powerful and fastest road motorcycle of its time. He is just as charismatic and unique as his mentor, Icon Sheen. A two-wheeled masterpiece, a true work of art. Get away from me. Barry Sheen was unquestionably an attractive individual and an exceedingly colourful racer, a showman through and through, I would confidently venture to say. His thrilling driving style brought him fame and world champion titles in 1976 to 77. A huge talent as soon as he got behind the motorcycle wheel. Bold and decisive in actions, this wizard is also irresistibly daring yet cheerful, never appearing in public without a smile on their face. He always did his job in his own style and always with immense passion. This explosive cocktail didn't leave fans, girls, and especially those who knew Barry personally or worked closely with him, indifferent. It was a group of around 20 people who collaborated with Sheen at the height of his skill and chose to immortalize the greatness of their beloved racer and comrade in a motorcycle, with each design element being a meaningful reference. Andrew Morris, perhaps the most devoted fan of Barry Sheen and founder of Icon, became the main initiator of this project. He didn't just name this motorcycle with the word Sheen. Andrew assembled a team of 18 people who played a significant role in Barry's career. Each of these individuals, in some way, is indirectly involved in Sheen's peak victories during his brilliant career. An elegant aluminum frame, for example, was designed by Stuart Tiller, the man who built the first racing frame for Barry, a fairly well-known frame manufacturer. And the beloved brake master Aki Raisin from ISR Brakes created a system with enough power to stop a 200kg motorcycle travelling at 320km per hour. The unique colour scheme of the motorcycle was conceived by Mike Fairholm, who created unique helmet designs for Barry, such as the personalised helmet featuring a Donald Duck illustration. By the way, this logo was a true talisman for Sheen. Of course, he also found a place on the motorcycle. The uniquely aggressive and somewhat futuristic look of the motorcycle, by the standards of the late 2000s, was designed by Morris himself, who studied art before becoming a prominent businessman in shipping. Made entirely of carbon fibre, just like the motorcycle's wheels. Morris tried to create an image of a muscular superbike with features of a British bulldog, as he himself says. In addition, only the best engineers worked on the motorcycle. For instance, the motorcycle's suspension was also made of high-quality racing components from Bitubo, while the exclusive control unit from Motec had full data logging capabilities and the ability to create custom fuel maps. The exhaust is a completely handmade piece made of stainless steel, just like the tank, which takes a whole month to manufacture. Or like the PID made of polished aluminum with a digital multifunction display. Or a unique aluminum swing arm and a seat made of Alcantara with the raised number 7 with Barry's lucky number. Barry's best friend and former Suzuki teammate Steve Berish consulted on the project throughout the entire construction process. It was he who suggested installing an engine from the Suzuki GSX-1400 as the power unit. Why Suzuki and why this engine specifically? There are two reasons for this. First and foremost, it is that Barry Sheen achieved success precisely with a team originating from Hamamatsu. Secondly, this superbike required an ultra engine, which they were intending to equip with something that began to appear on Japanese motorcycles back when Barry Sheen was retiring from racing with a turbine, with a hybrid Garrett turbine and a custom-made blow-off valve, as claimed in the sources. The GSX-1400 engine was the best fit for this. All the engine internals were replaced with parts from suppliers well known to successful racing teams around the world. The boost pressure was around 0.4 bars, but you always have a boost controller at hand. 257 GP obtained from engine power-to-weight ratio of 1250 horsepower per tonne. Exceeds expectation. Look at 
the immense power, a few tentative wheelies, 52 of the to say it's one of its kind is an understatement, at Malcolm again past the straw bales. But perhaps the most important thing the motorcycle received was the support of Barry's family. His widow Stephanie signed the handlebar cross next to Barry's signature and silver coins with an image of Donald Duck, handmade in Switzerland. Freddie's son became the first test pilot of the Icon. The motorcycle was ready and first rode at the annual Goodwood Festival of Speed in 2010. Freddie Sheen drove. It took four years to develop it, and each motorcycle is hand-built over a period of three months. As Andrew Morris himself says, the idea was to create a continuation of the legendary name. And that's why each major component has a direct connection to the tyre, which by the way was a brilliant engineer itself. From the very beginning, it was decided that it should be a completely new motorcycle of British construction, not just a copy of what Barry rode. It had to have characteristics that would allow it to ride comfortably on roads and, if desired, test the track. Its creation turned out to be extremely costly, and I don't consider it a profitable business, says Morris. I truly desire individuals who purchase them to use them, not to preserve them on a pedestal solely as investments. Every icon sheen is sold with a promise of exclusive service. The handover to the client will be personally conducted by Parrish, and irrespective of the buyer's country of residence, Morris guarantees that there will be a fully trained local engineer ready to provide service and troubleshoot issues. In terms of behavior, the motorcycle is friendlier than expected from a turbocharged engine. Due to its 200 kg weight, the motorcycle lacks agility. There is a slight turbo lag at the bottom of the tachometer, followed by a significant pickup, and by 9000, the engine fades. The best option is a range of 4000 to 8000 revolutions per minute. Easy to handle, not a litre bike, but highly nimble and manoeuvrable. The components utilised from renowned manufacturers operate at a 100% level of performance. Barry Machine Sheen will always be remembered by fans as a key promoter of motorcycle racing worldwide. Falling in love with his charisma in this thrilling and spectacular sport, he experienced several stunning accidents in his life and, despite the most severe injuries, always said, no matter what, I'm okay. But sadly, he died of cancer in 2003 at the age of 52. The production should aim to manufacture precisely this quantity of Icon Sheen motorcycles. Every motorcycle will be accompanied by a distinctive playing card, which will be hand-drawn by Mike Fairhelm and will showcase a girl wearing a bikini. All this pleasure can be obtained in exchange for a sum of $160,000. Exact motorcycle production numbers and current fate remain unknown at this time, lacking available information. Seemingly a typical showstopper, a toy for wealthy collectors, but how many amazing details are hidden behind the story of its creation? Andrew and his team attempted to construct a motorbike that would mirror Barry's personality, this charismatic extrovert. Maybe not the finest motorcycle on the planet, but it is certainly a genuine homage to a legend such as Barry Sheen, 